Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 97th episode of the Dueling Dealers of Comic Art. Three episodes remain until that wonderful 100th episode. I'm your host, Bill Cox. For those who knew the show, the format is simple, structured like a prize fight. Two original comic art dealers will present comic art for sale that is either new to the market or priced to sell. The dealer with the most sales by the end of the show is crowned tonight's champion. During tonight's main event, there will be 10 rounds of art for sale, with each dealer bringing two artworks per round. Artworks presented in rounds one through four will be priced $1,000 or less. Rounds five through eight will have artwork priced $2,000 or less, and anything goes in rounds nine and ten. Each dealer will be given 90 seconds per round to pre present both of their pieces of art for sale in rounds one through eight and two minutes in rounds nine and ten. Viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, please, 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 Hulk, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on notifications, i.e. ring the bell, everyone, so that you never miss a single show on the Comic Art Live channel. To claim an artwork you want to buy this evening, type your claim in the chat in the following format. Claim 2A-Anthony or claim 6B-Mike. In other words, the word claim followed by the round number and the letter A or B, a dash, and then the dealer's first name. Each time a dealer presents an artwork for sale, the exact claim phrase will be on the screen just above the art description. Please try to claim an artwork during the dealer's round, but if you miss that window, you can claim the artwork at any time during the rest of the show. You will be given one last chance to purchase artwork during the Ragnarok recap, where the dealers are more open to wheel and deal if the duel is indeed a close one. Since this is the internet, there can be technical issues. When several people try to claim the same artwork at the same time, your browser may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio. Our view of the chat is ordered properly, and we will make the decision for whom has claimed the artwork. During a dealer's round, you are allowed to make an offer on the artwork presented. However, the dealer is not required to respond, reply, acknowledge, or accept your offer. Be courteous and only message dealers who are currently presenting their art for sale. After the show, be sure to contact one of our dealers as well. If you've claimed any of their artworks, let them know which artworks you've claimed. Please include your mailing address and your YouTube or Facebook handle. Let's get ready to wheel and do. I don't have dancing Sharon and you have dancing Bill again. Oh, oh I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. Right. I feel better now. See there, you have yes, exactly. You've got Sharon by your side every single night. Yeah. So Hello, Sharon. Hi. Good to see you guys. I missed you last week. God, you're beautiful. Exactly. You were, yeah. you were not back home. Did you have a good Thanksgiving? I did. How about yourself? Did you really? Pretty good. Pretty good. I missed you. I miss you too. <laughs> okay. Well, you, come on. You got Uber Eats for a whole week, Anthony. That's that's all. That's uh, that's okay. Business no? as usual. Yeah. No, I cooked. I you cooked. Yeah, I cooked. And Cameron cooked. Me and Cameron did it. Oh well, nice. I was such a chef in a former life, you know. So you were a lot of things in a former life. It's my first trade or whatever. I came out of school and uh, went into the restaurant business. There you go. There you go. Well, <laughs> see, uh, I'm sorry. I was reading through the chat. Yes, everybody's happy to see us. Have us all back together. That's good. Yay. So uh, why don't we want to flip a coin, see how uh, things are going to go. But uh, hey, you know what? I wanted to let everybody know I'm going to be, uh, I'm doing a special okay. show on Friday with Nick. Uh, I, you know, I've only been on a show a few times, but he's doing a, uh, he's doing a few different things. We're doing a, a help him with a fundraiser. Uh, for cancer, pancreatic cancer research, and also he'll be selling some of George Perez's uh, uh, those uh, shirts of his, the Hawaiian shirts that he was famous for, with the uh, funds from those sales going to George's wife. So uh, that'll be uh, something worthwhile to tune in on on the EXP on 7 p.m. Right. I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a good time. What size uh, shirt? What's that? What size shirt are they? Uh, Nick can tell us. I think he's got him. I saw a photograph of him, but uh, we can get that answer for you. Yeah, yeah, 
And this is not a compression shirt. This was bought at Universal Studios, and they only had mediums, unfortunately. So uh, I am stuck with a medium. I need a large. If anybody can ever find a, a shirt like this in a large, I will pay them for it. Uh, all right, let's get this coin flip. Here we go. Yeah. What do we got this time? Heads. Oh, <coughs> two in a row. Are you kidding me? What is this world coming to? I haven't had two in a row in about a year. <coughs> that, that is very, very true. <laughs> you, Anthony and Sharon have been winning a lot in the last uh, six to eight months. What kind of hat is that? Is that a homage hat? Maybe. Is that a homage hat, Bill? I got this one when I was in... Uh, uh, I know where you got it, and I was mad at you because you didn't give me one. I know. In the oh, key, You were in the Keys, and you showed me a picture of this hat shop, and I'm like, give me one. <laughs> yes. And uh, we have no Coke in the house tonight, so I'm drinking uh, Gatorade. Uh -oh. That doesn't do it. It's, a, it's not, but it, it, it's a placebo. It's going to work for me. <laughs> we get... Uh, my special like endorsement uh, is... Uh, what is it? Bubble teas? It's from what a are these? bubble teas. Hibiscus green. But there's green no and, the, and the girls love those. Yeah. He doesn't get awesome. the, the bubble things. Oh, well, then you're not getting the whole experience. So, Mike, what would you like to do? Would you like to go first or second? No, time? he doesn't. I'll go first. No, oh, you don't want to go first. Why? <laughs> Look at this. Nope, didn't you, you couldn't talk him out of it, Sharon. Sorry. Oh, wow. I'll go first this time. What the heck? All right. Well, let me get uh, everything set up here. As everybody knows, for rounds one through four, all the artists priced one thousand dollars or less. There's two artworks per round. Each gentleman gets ninety seconds per round to present their artworks. So, Mike, let's get you started with your one A and one B, and here is your one A. Oh, happy days for people. Uh, this is a. I love. Look at the published image. Michael Gatos, True Blood number three, full splash page. Uh, okay. Features Bill Compton in his full vampire glory from the story titled Where Were You? And it's signed at the bottom also. Really cool, full splash page. If you're familiar with this, with the, with the book, uh, True Blood, very cool, full splash page and published. And again, we have the published image. I always try to put up the published images also just to give people a little extra to know what they're buying sort of helps out a lot. So very cool piece with his vampire fangs out and everything and published chapter splash uh, by Michael Gatos for true blood number three. So very That's cool. That's the first one folks. And again, sign and pencil at the bottom. And the second one, Ooh, la la. Am I allowed to say sexy? Paul check this out from Birds of Prey 89. Again, there's the published image. Super sexy images of Black Canary and Huntress. Semi splash page as they're battling at the bottom. Just really, really nice. And the published images there on the bottom right. Very, very cool uh, published page with a Huntress and Black Canary. Kicking some bootay of some bad guys there. So. And I like, again, to compare it to the published image on the bottom right, it makes it sort of cool. So there you go, folks. Those are the first two. And yes, we have fishnets. <laughs> yes, fishnets and a thigh gap. Yes, we do. All right. Uh, very nice uh, pair of pieces to start there, Mike. And I have to that's say, a, somebody there. asked that Spider Man 196. Somebody said, what was that cover? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Spider 196 by Keith Pollard and Al Milgram. Somebody was asking. Very nice. And there are a lot of doozies in the show tonight, everybody. I yes. can tell you that. I got I got a preview of what's uh, in or store. You can make offers, folks. Don't forget. Always make offers. All right, Anthony. Over to you for your round 1A. Here we go. Stan Goldberg. Oh, Anthony, you're muted, my friend. We can't hear you. You've been shouting over there, and we haven't heard a word. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, you know, I love to start things off with stuff that reminds me of my lovely wife, Sharona. Aww. But this is a Marvel or at <laughs> it's an actually an Atlas page what? of Kathy Very from cool. 1959-60 uh, by uh, Stan Goldberg of Kathy, which was a Marvel title. 
Look at Sharon. She's Very got, nice. We should ask this out, Anthony. Oh. Hey, she flipped a coin, too. It was yeah, tails. she's flipping a coin. That's why I, I liked it to start the show with. So Sharon's flipping a coin. I'll toss a coin. Heads, I date Ricky. Tails, <laughs> I date Ace. Yeah, oh, dear, it's tails. Just like and it was And she got tails because she wound up with Ace. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, next page, Anthony. Go, go, go. All right, again, uh, Sharon's favorite sh uh Superhero show One of all woman. time. Uh, an Super Alex Stove, Super Friends storyboard. And look at that. It's got Hawkman, Flash, uh, Black Lightning, B, well, BV. Did I call him Black Vulcan? And Did then uh, <laughs> Black Vulcan? You got me. Hawkman. <laughs> That is a very nice storyboard. It's got everybody on the TV monitor. Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice. That sound effect was the best. Ted, you know who the voice of that was, right? Hmm. Ted, you know who the voice of that was that was saying that, narrating. Ted. No. Ted from Mary Tyler Moore. Yeah, that night. Meanwhile, back at the Hall of Justice. Judge smells. Judge smells. I've sentenced men younger than you to the gas chamber, Danny. I felt like I owed it to them. <laughs> wow. Love that line. You could be on TV, Anthony. Aren't we now? Don't you <laughs> count this? Is, does this count? I do. I do. Is this mini TV? It streaming? It works. It counts. All it's right. Round two. That. All right. Round two over to you, Mr. Berkey. Let's see here. Where is your two? Check this out, folks. Here Beautiful. We go. Check this out. Oh, Marvel Battle Splash. Are you kidding me? Koi fam from Chaos War number one, page eight. We have all the heroes battling. We got Iron Man, Spider Man, Captain America, Miss Marvel, Wolverine, and several other several other heroes all battling throughout uh, as they're battling against Hercules because he comes back to Earth to war with Earth's mightiest heroes. That the Chaos King is coming. Are you kidding me? It's actually trying edge to edge on the sides of the 11 by 17 board, which is interesting. And again, there's the published image on the right. Interestingly, they changed the top, the published, they moved the top panel to the bottom and changed it slightly. I thought that was interesting for the published, and they kept the top three panels as the lower three panels. But that's the published page. Very, very cool, but a lot of battling. A lot of great stuff. So that's the first one. Second one. Really great. Ron Friend, Ink Bice, the great Sal Basema, Spider Girl number 70 from 2003. Very cool. All out battle page from the story When the Abyss Looks Back. Features May, May Day Parker as Spider Girl catapulting herself and beating up Dr. Jade as she falls to the ground. And there again, got the published image there on the bottom right, too, folks. So. Just a really cool four panel all out battle page. Wow. Are you kidding me? Man, she's breaking those bricks. Break. I say thee nay, Hulk. You are not worthy. It hurts me every single time. So, Anthony, well, again, everybody, everybody's rooting for you to get an Emmy, although you can't get an Emmy. Folks. Yeah, a, a pair of nice pages there, Mr. Burke. Yeah, really nice. In the early round. This? I thought this would be a quick mover. Oh, my gosh. It's got, like, the whole Super Friends with a what did you nice have on shot that of Wonder Woman. What? What did you have on that one? Just 500 Five. Yeah, that's a good price. Yes, it is. Nice I think those are very undervalued by the great Alex Toth, too. Wow. Green Lantern. Yeah, Batman on there. Wonder Woman. My goodness. All right. Sharon tossing a coin. Yep, yeah, she got tails, though. Yeah, she won. Well, but yeah. Okay. All right. All right. I'm not saying anything. All right. Over to you, well, Anthony. World meets six stickers, too. All right, round two Sorry. over to the Snyder residence. Here right. we go. Let's Stephen Butler. Anthony. All right, I have a Spider-Man round. Spider-Man. Look at this. This is from a kid's book. 
Uh, it's a double page spread of Aww. Spidey dropping in on two of his most horrific villains. Biggest thigh gap ever. Oh, oh <laughs> man. I love it that he's got the, the camera that he's web webbing up and uh, take pictures of him and uh, dropping in on Scorpion and Hobgoblin. And this is by Stephen Butler, a uh, legitimate Spider-Man artist. Yep. So that's on an 11 by 17, but uh, two pages from a uh, golden size book. You know, the golden book size. Oh, size. I love those. The books we all grew up with. Yes. Besides comic books. Yay. So, and now this is another Ooh. Stephen Butler, Spidey Man related. Wow. He's got a big uh, Spidey Man and then the Carnage. And the Carnage. So awesome. And this is a, a more recent piece from 2008, uh, signed an all pencil, an 11 by 17, except the border is inked uh, black and red. To give uh -huh. you more of that Spidey Man sensibility. Feel. Yeah. <laughs> and again, we're keeping the theme of thigh gap. I love the eyes in the back. Okay. All right. The butler rings. Yeah. Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. We get the uh, character effects as well. And at least you get tight pencils, but not tight thighs there. <laughs> <laughs> pair of thigh gaps on both of those as well. Who invented thigh gaps? I was... uh, our friend Fish. Really? Yeah, Fish did on a on a collector conversation. He was commenting on the qual the poor quality of eBay uh, fan art sketches. How they all how how the measure of a good fan art piece effectively was the the the, the, the width of their thigh gap, and it forever has been known. <laughs> It's the thigh gap. People seem to think it was started here, but it really didn't start here. It was it was, oh. it was fish starting it over there. So you can blame oh. him. <laughs> just two. It's just that he's just uh well one two towns over. Yep. Yeah. No. Mr. But uh, one. Of, hey, you know, many many people have created the uh, sayings that we love to remind each other of all the time on here claimy and doozies and all that stuff but we're moving on to round three here and Berkey, you get to start us off sir so let's get uh, round three this is a great one for you dc fans out there from the book superman y2k number one you have almost the entire dc universe on one page butch guys inked by kevin conrad from the story titled appropriately the end this page features almost the entire DC universe. Great images of Superman, Aquaman, Wonder Woman, Batman, Nightwing, Robin, Flash, Steel, Green Lantern, Plastic Man, and Martian, ha Martian Manhunter. They each get their own panel as the entire Earth is being destroyed and disarrayed. Every hero gets their own panel, literally, on this great 10-panel page. It's really a great one, folks. Again, from the year 1999, this is when everybody said the world would come to an end like at Y2K and all that stuff. So they made a bunch of books about it. But just a great, great page. It, might, it set up, reminds me a lot of the crisis uh, art it was setting up like that. So, But really cool. Butch Guys, 23 years old. So that's the first one. Second one, talk about thigh gaps, folks. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's an Ohio painting. Check this out. Gorgeous Batgirl. Uh, this is drawn nine edge to edge on nine by twelve inch artboard and signed at the bottom by the great Gonzalo Mayo. Just a beautiful piece. There we go. Sorry, there was a little piece of tape from another piece of art at the bottom, but uh, there you go. Uh, beautiful, beautiful, unbelievably. I'm trying to get it up close to get the detail on a very sexy Catwoman standing on a. Standing on a building with the gargoyle and the moon background. Again, 9 by 12 inches. Edge to edge. I got the bottom full painting. Oh, did I? No sale. No sale. Are you kidding me? Alfred, get me some more better art. What's going on around here? <sighs> I'm the Batman. <laughs> oh, I'm not Catwoman. Did I say Batgirl? I'm not Catwoman. I, I, I don't know. But anyway, it's listed as Catwoman. So beautiful, beautiful painting, folks. Nice guys and Mayo. Yep. I always said Mayo. Mayo. 
It's all yeah. Mayo. Can tell Mayo. Mayo, Mayo. I, yeah. Some people say Mayo. I always said Mayo. Uh, well, how do you pronounce the A in Spanish? Is it I? You got me. I'm sure we'll hear from somebody. Yes, uh, I'm hearing myself a little echoey. You're very echoey. Mike, your volume might be turned up a little high. Who know. knows? All right. Round three over to Anthony. Here we go. What do, we, what do you got, Anthony, for round three? Oh, Rudy Nevers. All right. I uh, actually saw Rudy recently and was able to pick some great stuff up. I uh, wanted to do an interview, but uh, that time has passed, unfortunately. But so here we're offering a very detailed 11 by 14, like a knight with his babe and a horse in the forest. Now, these are bigger than the smaller ones. He, he likes to do those uh, smaller, the singles uh, on like eight and a half by 11s. This is 11 by 14. So yeah. sell it, Sharon. Woo. <laughs> woo. That's it. That's what you got? It's just a woo. We got doozies and woos. <laughs> and we got gravity assisted boobs. With the horse. Oh, so cool. <laughs> it is gorgeous. Any, anyway, my son loves Sorry. stuff like that. He's it's just he's so a, detailed. Uh, it's really awesome. Okay. I'm at a loss for so, words for that awesome. So now piece. all right. So what do you give me for this one? This is large art. From an eerie or creepy story, it's definitely used because I've I've seen these uh, other story pages from this uh, that I've been getting from him over the years. Now, this is a large art piece because, let's see, this is 11 by 17. Which one? Yeah, the Carnage. And, uh, you know, it's it's bigger. It's bigger. So, yeah, you want to get a measure out there, Dan? And it's got like a, a Hannah-looking babe out in the forest with... Mr. Handsomeness and then Mr. Ugly stalking her. And you got some great what, Sharon? Come on. I haunches. Oh, haunches. <laughs> Woo! She looks good in those pants. How many is that, Anthony? 17 and a half? 17 and a half. By? By 12. And 12 and a half. 12 and three quarters. Yeah. 12, it's, so it's on a uh, poster size board. It makes a really nice noise. Hulk, what is the size of your artwork? Let's find out. Uh, 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 11 by 17 inches. <laughs> I love that. I've yeah, always yeah, loved that. That'll never get old. Yeah. And yes, that's a rights in uh, screen left and Mike's right hand there. Yeah, somebody was asking. It's actually it was done in 1973, published Secrets of Haunted House cover. But look how big it is compared to a regular art piece. Just thought I'd share it. Yeah. Wow. Somebody was asking. Very, very cool. Yeah, they used it as uh, a PR material for that New York Comic Arts Gallery, too, back yeah. in like 73. Somebody 74. asked me about my wonderful wall. But oddly enough, it was drawn in 73. It wasn't published till 75. There you go. Well, your your art's a little small in the back. It's maybe maybe if you brought it a little closer, we could see it. Call a kid. Tell him to move the rack. I'll move it. Okay. All right, moving right along, Mr. Berkey. Round four. Come on, we need a couple sales here, folks. Yeah. Let's get warmed up. Here we go. We are Let's here. get climbing. Beautiful, not fifty-one-year-old Joe Kubert pencil and ink Star Spangled War Stories page. This is a great story. From the story titled Blood is the Code. This is a World War II story where an American uh, Navy sailor man is captured by the Japanese and tortured in, in very many ways to give up his secret information. So very cool. 1971 Joe Kubert pencil and ink page from, again, 51 years old. Really, really cool by the great Joe Kubert. They're giving him food to, to lighten him up before they, they torture him for all his uh, information because he's a code breaker for the Americans. So very, very cool. That's the first one, Joe Kubert, Pencil and Inks. And the second one, check this out. This doubles, red, splash, Excalibur number 60. They just have an acetate overlay because of the uh, the fight, the uh, – a what uh, kind of tape? 
Jupiter pinnacle on the bottom, but it's all art. Everything's art. Here, let me flip okay. it up, actually. But beautiful DPS. That's actually Captain Britain, folks, if you can believe that. From 1992, uh, Scott Cole is from the story of Braddock of the Jungle. Features Captain Britain as in a tree as Megan, Kitty Pride, Captain America, Black Panther, and War Machine, and the evil Eye of Watch. Done on two 11 by 17 boards, but really, really nice. And you get all the heroes there Captain America, uh, Shadow Cat, Black Panther, War Machine. Down here in Florida, the grill must be at the right temperature to cook our steaks. Well done. We use a special method only known to us as guardians. Let's see if it's ready. I'd say it's ready. <laughs> oh no, not the hat! Yeah, the hat. I, I put it out. I put it out. Don't worry. <laughs> Your homage hat must be preserved. Mm -hmm. This panel's a step, but the yards underneath, they did the reverse. Just so they reverse it out. What yep. kind of Tate is, is on it? What was that? What Anthony? kind of Tate is on it? What kind of it tape, tape is on the it? Back. It, was it? It was tape from the back. Like it's it a piece of tape. acetate on it. The it's acetate acid. was for the... Yeah, I think yeah, it was acetate for the oh, I, scope. I put the acetate up because the acetate was covering the uh, sharpshooter range on, on right here. Yeah, there you go. It was, it was the scope. Right. And haunch. So it's all art. Nice DPS from 1992 with everybody on it. Now, who's the guy with the loincloth? That's actually Captain Britain. Oh, is he, is he in the jungle? It's Captain, it's Captain Britain, oddly enough. Is he in the Savage Land? Yeah. <laughs> Watch the locks. Yeah, thank you, Lyle. Yes, that is my grill in the back. Uh, of the I can't earth. Let woman go. Uh, uh. He doesn't skip leg day. Never. Look at that. Oh, Look at those, those hamstrings. <laughs> All right, round four yeah. over to you, Our Anthony. Last definition. All right. Here we go. Get these while you can, guys. Oh, because those are I just go. I just got these in. This is it. Price to move. Uh, no waiting for the recap on these. This is a John Buscema Hulk smash. Wow. 11 by 17 pencils and partial inks, but the right inks. Look at that. How many inks you need? What, uh, Alberto had an offer? I guess I missed it. Um, so, oh, uh, yeah, he offered you 450 on the toth. Oh, 450 or four and a quarter? He offered you 450 on the toth. I see four and a quarter. Uh, I can highlight it. I see this one right here. Okay. Well, I'll take 450. I see 425 down here, but I'll take 450, Alberto. All right. If that's, I don't know. I'm not seeing a second one, but hey. All right. So now you got the John Buscema the Hulk smash pencil and ink drawing on an 1117 board signed by the great John, John Buscema. Yeah. And now Thor. Yep. All right, so now we got another one. Ugh. Thank you, Alberto. I appreciate that. You broke the ice. So let's see uh, Bill climbing up a glacier. Come on. And now we got four. Look at that, Bill. Do you want this one? Look at that. Swing. I did hand. like it. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd, maybe I'd hear from you on it. But, it's no, really all right. cool. So th th we got the Thor. And, with again, th the best parts are inked. Yeah, so, look at that. So cool. On an 11 by 17 uh, graphic board. Really nice. These are hot Actually, off. Actually, better than nice. That's hot incredible. off a big trade deal I did. Yeah. So. Oh, very nice. Thank you for breaking the ice. Nice. Yeah, there you go. Oh, that was an, that, that an old one. Sure. That was one of my first. I think I filmed. That was like the first thing we filmed was wow. that in front of a green screen. So. Very cool. There you go. Uh, if you think it's good so far, it's it's getting better and better. Uh, I got great stuff tonight, guys. So yeah, well, both you guys brought brought the heat. Uh, David Wetzel, thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Supporting small businesses and Happy Thanksgiving. Hey, thank you for that. David yeah. Wetzel, you look like the actor that's playing Prince Charles in The Crown. What's his name? Oh, David. Yeah. He does have that look? Very handsome. Very, I was just gonna say the same thing. 
<laughs> you beat me to it. All right. Uh, so yeah, those pieces are still out there. One thousand dollars each. I didn't want to break up the pair. It was it was you had you did a really nice pairing for that round. Right. Yeah. yeah. They came. Yep. Uh, I actually had sold them to the collector who traded them back to me. So uh, yeah, I love them. I love stuff like that. I uh, but I have a lot of it, so I'm making it available. Mm -hmm. All right. Moving right along to round five. Have? The lead. Yes, you do. You do have the lead. And All right, Mike. One. Over to you. Uh, we have a nip slip. On Round this one. five. Check this out. I had a couple of these. I'm saving my best for last. Alfonso Espiri. Check out this super sexy Vampirilla painting. I can get those, all these four or five little ghouls grabbing onto her legs at the bottom, too. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful finished painting. Uh, with four little goblins hanging out to her legs, drawn on 8.8 .8 by 12.1 inch artboard that has been affixed to a thicker black 9.8 by 13.25 inch artboard and signed at the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful pick by the great Alfonso Spiri. I had a few of them. I saved the best for last. A few of them on the show a, month, a couple months ago. I figured I'd bring out the last ones. Now. The last one, I should say. So that's the first one. Next one by the great, check this out, beautiful 1973 Don Heck Submariner number 64 page. Beautiful page, uh, Don Heck Inc. by Don Perlin from the story titled Voyage into Chaos. Beautiful page of Submariner in two of the four large panels as he boards the ship to go to an undersea uh, city never known to exist. Very, very cool. As they board the ship, at the top is the money shot with uh, Subby and the captain from the ship going, getting ready to board to go to the other land. So very cool. <laughs> Nearly 50 years old, folks. Wow. Very psychedelic page coloring on that one, too. That's Subby page. Yes. When you look at the published one. Yeah. Nice page, though. Oh, very the nice. published image, yes. So, like I said, I'll make offers too, folks. We 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 combine. And I saw Anthony uh, took care of the four C comics uh, offer, and countered at nineteen hundred for the pair versus fifteen hundred for the pair. The very best I can do on the pair, eighteen hundred. Put All it right, out there sweet. right now. It's not going a dollar less. That's it. Nine hundred um, each. Eighteen hundred yeah, for the pair. Each. Nine inch. Uh, let's see. Thor is about twelve inches high on an eleven by seventeen board. JD's and offering you sixteen hundred. What? I said JD no. is offering you sixteen hundred. Oh, eighteen. Eighteen. And Hulk is more. Hulk, Hulk is bigger. Hulk. You mean by more? I assume yeah. that Thor is about fourteen inches tall. And the best thing about Hulk is Hulk toes. <laughs> there you go. There you go. All right, round five now over to you, Anthony. And here we go. Here we go. All Let's right, go. now Let's here, go now. here's something that's HTF. What's that mean, Sharon? Um, HTF. Hard to find. Hard to find. Ah. Okay, so this is... A, <laughs> This is the Marcos, uh, Marcos Iron Jaw page. So if you like that Alice Seaboard, uh, um, um, my friend Jeff Roven actually edited and brought back to life. And these new characters, one of them and one of the most famous of them was Iron Jaw. And uh, this was uh, this is from 75. And I've never had a better page. This this is hard to find stuff. Um, Iron Jaw 3, and he's riding his unicorn, and uh, that's what his world is about, is unicorns and, uh, Everybody and, and loves having unicorns. a jaw. And, um, okay, so now we have, what was the name of that imprint? They called it Atlas Seaboard, I thought, Something because it was, uh, uh, it was like a different universe. All right, so... Now we have an Eric Powell Goon Page, AEFB uh, uh, edition from number... Goons. Yep, Goon. All action, big panels. Number 16, Look page 11. That. 
awesome. Yeah. You can get it. And look at that hand. Look at that hand on the face. Hand on the face. Oh, hand. All right. That's awesome. Very nice, Eric Powell. Woo! Couldn't get the Aren't they nice? Which one? I missed it. I was dealing with a claim. Oh, uh, sorry. I mean, uh, uh, offer. Yes, you were. We well, weren't dealing with it, but uh, yes, Bob Berkheimer did offer you eight fifty for the Thor. I'm sticking. I'm sticking to like. Uh, I've had too much interest. Oh, there it is. Well, there you go. Four C Comics is now. All right, Ken. You. Thank you very much. You got it. Is claiming it at what you, the price that you wanted. I really wanted a thousand, and I, and if I would have had a little more room to like push it, I would have marked them twelve hundred. All right, so Ken gets There's the no pair. Four C. Congratulations! Yay! Uh, and yeah. the, the Iron Jaw page, I'm surprised I haven't had more uh, reaction to that because, I mean, well, I'm not sure what Marty Weber was. Uh, Marty, well, four A was uh, one of the. John Buscema's, which Anthony already took as an offer, but we don't have C's, so I'm not sure what the... Uh, oh, well, other than 4C just claiming it. So, yeah. Uh, oh, 4C. Yeah. Uh, yes. All right, so Iron Jaw with a unicorn. Iron, yeah, you don't see that too often. No, you. Do, I, this just doesn't... It's, it's not around. Uh, it's a lot of mess on the back, but it doesn't affect the artwork. That's correct, Marty. You were just a little bit too late. That's all right. Hey, we appreciate it. You almost got it. 4C stepped in and decided to to go for the uh, final offer that uh, Anthony threw out there. Well, see what else you like, Marty, uh, and we can work it out. Uh, got some more to art Marty, to so. come. We only got we're only halfway through tonight, everybody. Yeah. So uh, yeah, exactly, Brett Mixon says makes sense that 4C got 4A and 4B. All right, Mike, over to you. Round six. Let's, uh, let's see. What Round this... six. Oh yeah, this is a uh, cover here. Published. Uh, this is a published Image Comics cover. Check this out by Sia Um. Commanders in Crisis number four. Beautiful anime painted cover. Really, really nice. Signed and dated. And there's the published cover. This is an Image Comics cover. And it's oversized. It's actually drawn almost edge to edge on 12 by 18 inch artboard featuring uh, a dynamic image of Frontier, who's also called Nina Next. So very, very cool piece. Let me do it up close because it it's really is a nice piece. So really nice published cover. And there's the published image there on the bottom right for you, for everybody to see. So very cool published cover. And of course, signed and dated in the lower left. Reminds me of uh, what was that? Uh, shoot, I can't, I uh, I can't even think of the movie with the girl that that is a robot. I can't even think of the name of it, but she reminds me of her. But uh, I like the movie too, and I forgot the name of it. But uh, anyway, so that's the first one. And check this out, folks: Jim Apparel pencils and inks from 1970. Phantom Stranger number ten, page eleven, fifty-two years old. From the story titled Death Call Not My Name. First appearance of the villain Tanarak as he abducts a sec as he abducts a sexy girl in four out of the five panels. Then we got also then we got the Phantom Stranger and Irene in the bottom left trying to solve the case. But again, folks, this is Pencils and Ink from Apparel from 1970. Look at the detail on this page. Wow. That Very is beautiful. beautiful. Wow, I thought that one would have went right away. Years old. Cross hatching. Very, very cool page. Snakes! 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 You know I hate snakes! You know I hate snakes! I don't ever remember doing that one. <laughs> Uh, I think you were on something when you did that. Snakes. <laughs> that was good. You told me to create some memes, I think, one day. Yes, I did. We Well, yeah, we tasked you with some... Uh, uh, that was when you went against Jordan. 
We had that Indiana yeah. Jones thing. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's stamped on the back, July 1970. Cool. From DC. Oh, happy days. Indeed. All right, Anthony, round six over to you. And what do we got first? Mark. Oh, Schwartz. man, I have a beautiful Hannah Dundee from Xenotoic Tales. Beautiful drawing by the master of the graphite. Mr. Mark Schultz. Mark Schultz. Here it is. Yep. So, Sharon. Okay. Woo. Woo. It's a woo. <laughs> exactly. Ah. Uh, wow. That's a beautiful one. Mark Schultz is amazing. That's really he's a beautiful. personal favorite of yours, right? I love his work. Sure. He's, yeah, he's great. I had, a, I had a chance to uh, do a deal with him in, at the Baltimore Con. And uh, he had some pieces that uh, he liked just a little much, a little more than I did. <laughs> Look at her face. So I mean, just any any sort of really good drawing is, is to be available is is a good thing because this is uh, all right. So now after that, let's put that one in the thing because it's fragile. Yeah, it's fragile. It sure is. All right, now we have a John Byrne. She devil with a sword slashing. Look at that. Whoa. Blood splattered. We got now, a woo and a whoa. And now this one is all sort of, it's an ink pen. It's an ink pen on, look at that, 1976, guys. She looks tough. 1976. Love it. That is very nice. Hello, turn those machines back on. Is this chat even working? It, it's it's working. It's working. It's working. <laughs> uh, well, a nice pair of artworks there, yeah. Anthony. Well, yeah, I went with uh, the uh, you know high end artist Babe drawings. They go together. Woo and yeah. woo. You're always thinking about. Uh, I like. I well, like. You know, making that's people. Action. That is total action and drama. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost the same pose of the, as that Phoenix one that I got from you last Christmas. There is some visible pencils and you know gravity defying uh, coin bra. There you have it. All right, round seven over to you, Mr. Berkey. Let us see what round you have. Round seven. Yeah. By the great John Romita Sr., the published image is there on the bottom right. But anyway, this was the Romita Legacy, going to be the Romita Legacy book cover. It's him testing it out. But you got full images of Iron Man, Thor, Spider-Man, Daredevil, Wolverine. Then you got the outline of Captain America on the bottom left, uh, the arm and gun for Wolverine on the bottom, and, of course, the bottom torso of the Hulk in the upper right, and signed by the great John Romita. But still, you're getting basically five completely drawn characters by the great John Ramita. Uh, this is done on 9 by 11 inch uh, drawing paper and signed by John Ramita at the top. Very, very cool. Yeah, you got Hulk on the, uh, from the waist down. He was setting up the page. Thor and his hammer. Uh, good Iron Man, good Spidey, good Wolverine. And you got Punisher's arm and gun. A pretty cool piece uh, preliminary for a published cover. Now, here's a really historic piece here. This is from Great Huntress. This is from the story, the, the classic 1978 story where the Earth 2 Batman dies. Adventure Comics 461. This was originally, you even see at the top, it was supposed to be All-Star Comics 75. They canceled the title, but they moved all the pages, published them in Adventure 461. So this page actually is the page where Rob Earth 2 Robin tells the Huntress that he knows that she is Batman's daughter. And Batman actually dies later in the story, gets killed. So very cool historic piece. Joe Staten uh, from the story titled Only Legends Live Forever was the title of the story. Great story with Earth 2 Robin and the Huntress throughout the entire page. Well, very nice Joe Staten page. Yes. And I, and I believe he signed it. He usually signed, Yep, it's signed right... There below her, yep. He signs almost all his pages, so that's so <laughs> 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 
What he's was that? Very, he's very um, humble guy. You know, it's like he's got a little hidden signature right there, and you know, he's down to earth, humble. Like some guys, just like sign it right in the art, right? Mm hmm. No, I didn't even see it. I wouldn't have noticed. Very cool. All yeah. right, round seven over to you, Anthony. And round seven, lucky seven. Well, we'll find out. Unless you're a craps player, then it's unlucky. Uh, oh, right? This is Anthony going over. All right, Anthony. guys. Who wants some bricks in the face? Oh, Batman does. Bricks. Bricks. We got, bricks. We got, oh, we got, posted oops, that last post it fell off. Jim Aparo, right. Raven Jim the Bold. Bomb. From 135, and Batman gets some bricks. Oh my God! And with oh, a, we got man. a quam and a whack and a throw. And a pow pow. And then he lands in a on, yeah pow pow. Yeah. Pow pow. Give me a pow pow, Sharon. <laughs> pow pow. I'm wearing pow on my head. Pow pow. What? Oh, you're wearing pow on the head. <laughs> That's what she said. Yeah. I like this one. Uh, I, I thought I had to use it on the show because it had to do with chimney bricks. And this this uh, criminal got rehabilitated, and now he repoints chimneys. Goes around the neighborhood saying, "You need your chimney repointed." <laughs> now this next one's a pair of pages from Hero yeah. for Hire, pages oh twenty four and twenty five. Yeah, look, look action, it. action. Whoa, we want action. All right, two pages in a row from Hero for Hire, number eight, where Luke Cage battles this robot. Yeah. And we got a rack, and we got a throw, and we got a chome, and, and we a got pop, a pun. And a pun. <sighs> Any pals there? Chomp. Any wounds? We got There's a whoosh. A tomb. And a, a tomb. You got a clop. A clop. The best sounds. Nope. Um But lots There's of bricks. So satisfying about that one. I could just watch that <laughs> a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until, until you fall asleep in a few minutes. <laughs> the sound is good too. So, Mike, you did have an offer on the Apparel Phantom Stranger. You were at 1700 and Christopher Daly Graham yeah. is offering you 1400 Yeah, I said I, I just texted it. It just came through. But I could do 1500 with the time payments. Okay. Uh, Chris, say yay or nay or... Uh, somebody else can claim it after you decide. Oh, I'm sorry, Mike. And I did just see payments are fine. Anyway. All right, that was a nice page. As were those uh, Tuscas too, Anthony. Oh Very wow, good. yeah. I mean, you know, you can't get more action uh, packed on two. Which were I don't even. I can't tell if these are the right sequence. Are they? Are they going in the right sequence on camera? I think that was the way they were ordered in the uh, from Bobby. And Christopher Daly has accepted Mike's offer. Okay. Okay. Good for you, Mike. Yeah. Congrats. Congrats. Nice. A sale. A sale is always good. All right. So we're moving on to round eight. One round until cake break. So uh, let's see Great. what both of these gentlemen have brought. Mike, you start la -la. With a painted piece. It's a new la la. Beautiful. Jim Truman. <laughs> Published cover, Dragon Chang number one. Very large cover painting from 1990, and it's signed at the bottom there by Tim Truman. 1990, published painting. And he even started setting it up sort of on the back of it. But it's a very large piece. It's drawn almost edge to edge, 14.4 by 18.3 in chart board, signed and dated at the bottom. Beautiful Super detailed, full body image of Dragon Chang as he holds a large handgun. Then this really cool uh, Chinese symbol uh, behind him with this crazy dragon. Looks freaking awesome. It's all painted, folks. This piece is just gorgeous. And there's a lot of notes at the top of it. Dragon Chang, graphic novel, it says at the top. But beautiful published cover painting by the great Tim Truman. And the next piece, this is a doozy, folks. Arguably the best battle page in the book. Invaders number three, Captain America, the Human Torch, all battling the, the Namor. His Namor is still evil because it's back in the Golden Age. And actually, he's Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Uh, he rips up out, out of the White House there. Pretty crazy. 
So uh, just a great, best battle page in the book. You, look at that. Submariner busting out of the building. Subby and torch battling. Subby and torch battling. Subby and torch battling. And then Captain America. <laughs> Namor in the bottom panel. Just a fantastic page. There's the published image in the bottom right. Best battle page in the book, folks. <laughs> oh, that tortured beast. <laughs> that, but very nice page, Mike. That, that, was, uh, that, that was our best true transformation meme, I thought. It was. We we worked on that one. You even yeah. you almost ate that shirt. I know. You were, you were so in character with that one. <laughs> Man, I thought this one would go, but oh well. No, it's a, it's a good one. There was a lot of uh, positive. 1975, it. folks. It's just the third issue. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Thank you, Mark Lee. That, yes, there was a lot of effects wizardry going on in that one. We had fun doing that one. Uh, all right, round eight over to you, Anthony. And uh, hey, don't forget, everybody, you can hit that thumbs up while you're watching the show on YouTube. We always appreciate that. Gets uh, pushes it out the show out to people while the show is live and uh, gives us all kind of good good vibes on YouTube and uh, so let's see what Anthony brought here for his wow round we eight. got we got some woos here Look we go that. we got a Pablo Marcos painted mixed media look at that what Conan. size is that one um it's eleven by seventeen. And Conan versus a sea serpent with, oh my gosh, lots of catchphrase, uh, 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 <laughs> lots of catchphrases in that babe's pose. We got haunches and side. All right. So anyway, this is a beautiful piece. It's fresh to the market. Uh, never been for sale before. Look at that. Mixed media color Conan. Wow. And I would say this was done in the early mid nineties. Yep, I was going to say yes. the same thing. Okay. All right, and here is your next one. It's a uh, Ron Friends Bill Sinkevich. What if page? Oh, it's a splash page. Yeah, it's a splash page from uh, the title of this one was "If This Age Be Golden," and Thor is wearing this golden armor. So this is an 1117 published page by Friend Sinkevich. And uh, you might think, oh, uh, maybe not a you know combination I would choose, but this is really nice. I think it's cool. It's got the, 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 the technically sound composition of Ron Friends with a, a really cool Bill Sinkevich feel. Frankowitz. <laughs> Yeah, that's one way to put it. Thank you, Rick. And look, Bill, are you going to get a big hat like that? I don't think we have anything like that in the prop warehouse, I hate to say. Yeah, but you got the hair for it. I do. All right, so this was page uh, two. It was the interior splash. <clears throat> All right, well, uh, we have completed round eight. You know what time it is. Cake break! What time it's, is it? It's time for cake break. Run we that need, cartoon. We need, we Run need, that cartoon. I don't think I put a cartoon in there tonight. I hate to tell no. you. Uh, yeah, I will stick to it. The first cake. Uh, and now the latest one. What have you brought to us? I've got season? bricks. <laughs> you do not. Say that again. Bricks. Bricks with graffiti. She did a brick cake. <laughs> wow, look at that. That Here is amazing. In Los Anthony and the Dooley Dealers. Brick cake. <laughs> so it's, um, I tried a new technique. I made like a chocolate vanilla marble cake and just a regular Show the, uh, vanilla layer. I love the, I love your um, stenciling or whatever you call it. That's fondant. No, the stenciling, the, the actual words. The Dooley Dealers, okay. What do you call that? Uh, airbrush. Oh, yeah, airbrush stenciling. You know, uh, the dueling dealers. Edible airbrush, I hope. 
Yes, of course. Uh, uh, edible uh, ink. <laughs> yeah, I, I said you could right almost in. put the thing's head on there. Put Anthony's head on there. Be the thing. Oh, yeah. I could. I wanted to do that. You know what? That like minds. I wanted to do that. What'd you do with my oh, head? If I had brick, time, brick. I wanted to make somebody Where's break my head? out of the bricks. That is an awesome cake. Shirley. And yeah. you get you get some hair. No! Hey. I'm gonna go cut a slice and see if the marbling effect worked at all. All right. All right. Yay! Bye. Yeah, we want to oh, see. Got... Uh, you're gonna bring the slice out, right? Yeah, I'm gonna bring the slice out. And all then right. we'll do my guess. My blood sugar. That is one of the biggest cakes I think she's ever made. Holy moly! I agree. Because I rarely actually eat the cakes. I taste them uh, once in a while, but I, I rarely eat them. Because most of them are sculptural. I didn't eat myself last week or whenever my head was. Yeah, you still got that one laying around. Oh man, I'm never that's a sculpture. I'm not that's oh yeah, your doctor cake. your doctor evil a cake, yes. Ah. Yeah, Dr. <laughs> one million dollars. Doctor one million dollars. Uh Dr. Evil, that's not you bringing it out now or are we gonna go on with round nine and <laughs> <coughs> What'd she say? I didn't catch. Uh, I think she said she has it. She's All got. Right. It. Yeah, she's got it. All right, let's uh, go back to full screen. Kind of work. Wow. And, vanilla, and then that's uh, chocolate and vanilla marble effect. You got three oh, layers bricks of and marble. Huh? Yeah, bricks and marble. Marble, marble and bricks. bricks. <laughs> that looks like layers of concrete inside. Here, hold that. I'll get you a fork. Tastes like concrete. Mm. It better not be. Mm, smells delicious. Now, as as the as the cake lady on uh, British Bake Off says, is it worth the calories? Well, or we'll find out. Do you have a soggy bottom? You have a soggy bottom? No, this is going to be good. Sharon doesn't have a set. She's been working out. All right, let's give us your uh, feedback here, Anthony. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it's great. Yay! <laughs> yeah, really good. Worth awesome. The, worth the calories. Hooray! Worth the calories. No, you get no more. That's, That's it. That's it. <laughs> it's true. Ah, uh, boy. Then, just take it to the warehouse tomorrow. Yeah. Share it with the staff. Share with everybody. I let the birds eat it. Pay them in cake. <laughs> How many hands would you rate that cake? <laughs> well, what's the scale? <laughs> Is it uh, 10 or 5? Oh, oh, my God. Sharon's going to try her own cake. What? That's a first. It is. She's like 118 pounds. A boniness. Sharon, you're, 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 uh, you, you can critique it. Uh, you're no. not giving... I, I, was, I was being nice. You were being nice. <laughs> Oh boy, maybe it's a little dry. Uh, <laughs> right, let's keep this thing moving. <coughs> Anthony, why don't you get a glass of water while Mike? I do need a glass, water. Water. a glass of milk. A glass, a glass of milk. I got a glass. Go. Yeah, the marble cake. Gotta have milk for cake. Plain vanilla. All Not right. Calories. Mike, over to you to start round nine. And are you ready? Here okay, I'll start. You go. Check this out, folks. Paulo Sequeira. Published Star Wars Hidden Empire number one. Published cover, and there's the published image there on the right. Beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, pencil and ink by the great Paolo Sakura. Uh, for this is a Marvel Comics cover as well, folks. This isn't IDW or anything. This is a Marvel cover. Star Wars Hidden Years number one with a dynamic image of oh boy, Lady Kira. So I uh, hope I said that right. And they actually put a, a new head on top of an old head. So the head is actually drawn twice, but it's all art. But beautiful, beautiful published first issue cover. Just $2,500 by the great Paolo Sequeira. Beautiful. If you're a Star Wars fan and you liked Rogue One, great piece. And our second piece, folks, check this out. Very cool. From 1974, Jack Kirby, inked by Mike Royer. Our Fighting Forces 153. But this is a really great story titled Big Max. It's a story where Hitler is in it with Rommel and everybody. But anyway, you got the whole losers, and they actually destroy this 
big creation of Hitler's called Big Max, and they use a comic book. I get a kick out of character. Rodney Rumpkin uses one of his pulp magazine covers, and they create a they create a fake machine called the Devastator, and they actually destroy uh, the Big Max, which was a Nazi uh, warship. And that's Rodney Rumpkin, and you get all the losers, all the losers, Mike Anthony and and uh, Bill there at the bottom, all the losers. Uh, nice. Where's Sharon? Hulk need cake. Uh. <laughs> that, that cannon was actually real. That was a gigantic cannon they built uh, on rails uh, to shoot uh, to shoot yeah. in London. Well, really very nice. Kirby uh, Royer, right 1974, there. folks. Kirby Royer, 1974. Whoops. And somebody said the uh, the Sakura was just published. So it's fresh to market. Can't get yes. more fresh Published than that. Cover. And signed by the great Paulo Sequeira. All right, Anthony. Right there at the bottom right. Yeah. You, you need to clean that up a little bit up there, sir. No, I, I, she likes she likes it right now. Oh yeah, she rubbing likes it like clean. a uh, like a like a, a crystal ball. You we did the crystal ball gag when I was like yes. typing, but mm-hmm. my ultimate defense, Sharon loves me. All right, round nine over to you, Anthony. All right, well, I'm heavy on John Buscema tonight, so all you John Buscema fans out there, look at this action page. Sith by, oh, no! Go oh, do it, no. Sharon. Oh, no, what's happening? It's a woo! Woo! <laughs> it's a track. <laughs> It's a Woo. big snake. Sell it, Sharon. Come on, Whoa. 1976. Oh my gosh, it's got a thrack on there. A thrack. Yeah. Thrack and some kind of tentacle. That's Bill there. putting the hammer down. What, what's going on? Who? What's the tentacle? On hand her, I say thee. Yeah. Or face Come on, the endless wrath of the mighty oh, Thor. Oh, a dramatic reading from the Bill again. Come on. <laughs> Unhand her. Yeah. Unhand my lady monster or die. <laughs> and you the uh, Warriors three. Man, oh my, you got everybody on it. You got Thor and Sif and the and the and the Warriors three fighting a monster. And for 35 hun, uh you know, you see pages go for a lot more. So get it while you can. Have faith, my lady. Release the Kraken. Kraken. <laughs> coming to save me. All right. And your next piece. By All right. This Big one Gun. was in a private collection for 30 years. Whoa. Savage Sword number three, page 64. It's got that crucifixion splash that was kind of made famous in the movie. They wow. used that in the movie where Thor, I mean, uh, Thor, where uh, Conan was, um, you know, uh, crucified to that X. And uh, the cool thing about the credits on this is that uh, you look it up and it says Basema, Marcos, and Neil Adams. So maybe Neil Adams did some uh, did wow. some faces or maybe this was like right before they invented the crusty bunkers type of thing. Because like in the faces, I do see some Neil. Neat. And this is, it's not <clears throat> cheap. I uh, had a page from four that went for 55, just a half splash with a Neil Adams credit. So I have it. Priced accordingly. Priced. At $8,500. And yeah, look at that skull. Yeah, it's got some maggots, you know, you know. All right, count the maggots real quick for an extra prize in your claim. <laughs> That was at your wedding, wasn't it? I can't tell how many men. We did. Uh, did what do we do at our wedding? Kiss from I'm sure Rose. you danced. Kiss from yeah. Maraz Seal. Okay, that was our song, wedding song. Our dance, our first dance song. All right, round ten, and then we get into the recap here. Mike, you get to lead us off. And a pair, a pair of doozies here. Are you Jim Apparel fans? Check this out. Full splash page, Jim Apparel. 
from 1990, Batman 447, page one. Great page from the story titled Earth Day Demon Night. Features the, the villain called the demon snapping the line wrapped around Batman's arm as Batman goes falling to the ground as bystanders at the United Nation at the bottom all watch in shock. Right. And it's also signed by the writer, Marv Wolfman, right by the Batman head. Very, very cool piece. But full Batman splash. Hard to find full Batman splashes by the great Jim Aparo, folks. Holy Toledo. And if you saw what those apparel pages went for for the death of Robin, those those, those books went for unbelievable amounts a couple weeks ago. So very, very cool. Yeah, Brian Boland did the cover to this one. That is correct. Not Brian Borland, but Brian Boland. Just teasing with you. But, yeah, great piece there. Jim Aparo, pe uh, pencils, and Mike DiCarlo inks, and just a great, great, great. Turn it upside down. Batman. Ah. Yeah, that is great, Mike. So a beautiful, beautiful full splash. As is your other piece by Will and Eisner. And the last one, if this ain't a doozy of all doozies, I love the bill of sale. I'll get to last. Will Eisner, pencil and ink cover to the spirit number 14 from 1985. Really, really nice. And and with it, you get, a, you get an extra signature of Will Eisner. Interestingly... Uh, you get a bill of sale. He, bill White Eisner actually created. He sold this for uh, seventeen hundred dollars in two thousand and one, and the entire contract with the buyer's name and Will Eisner's name at the bottom is at the, is at the bottom. But he sold this in two thousand and one to a guy in Ireland, a guy in Ireland uh, named Darren O'Shaughnessy. How funny in Ireland! Figure that one. Darren O'Shaughnessy gave him seventeen hundred bucks in two thousand and one for the cover. You get the contract signed by Will Eisner with the pencil and ink cover with him chained and the bulb smashing and all the knives coming at him and everything. Just a great pencil and ink, Will Eisner. Uh, Come on, little chum. So you get the contract and the cover. Why was I eating my hat? <clears throat> you're 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 locked up, Bill. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Uh, that was one of the earliest memes we did, and uh, I just thought you would be mad that you couldn't uh, be a part of it because Mike and I had to film that one together. So I, I just thought it'd be funny. You know, you were eating your hat in the corner. Yeah, okay. it makes us think of the old '66 Batman. And by the way, I love. I don't know if people, I always think it's fascinating if your birthdays are ever with famous people. Me, Will Eisner, and Al Milgram all share March 6th as our birthday. Very nice. How about that? Different years, of course. <laughs> really? All right. Uh, <laughs> over to Anthony for his round 10. Well, works. you know, you say great apparel splashes are hard to find but here we go oh my goodness look at this me and the Berkster pulled out a apparel splash but this one i want to see is from 1981 and is all him with a dedication to steve ditko in the paper look at that Whoa. respectfully dedicated to the talents of steve ditko uh and the creeper on the top is art with the bat signal. All that is art, and all that paper action is art. And this, this is incredible. Is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful doozy of a woo. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Shan, give a it. Doozy of a woo. <laughs> now this is like a a ten woo. Yeah. I need ten woos woo for this. Ten. Woo 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 it's, woo 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 it's woo woo. <laughs> It's the Wu Wu Ten Clan. That's amazing. Yeah. So this is all Jim Apparel pencils and inks, guys. This is a real grail. Batman splash uh, from the Brave and the Bold with the other character. All right. Now, again, for you DC fans out there, this one, wow. This is Irv Novick masterpiece. Because you know how they do all those alternate, they had to do something to make uh, the DC writing. So 
Lois is in prison. Is Lois Lane. Lois Lane, Lane you are always jealous of Lana Lang. And then uh, Superman's showing her pictures of her of him dating Lana, and she's in prison for murdering her. Ooh. Is Lois Lane guilty? Herb Novak, my Esposito, title splash from 1970. Oh, wow. Incredible. Now, she's guilty. She's in, she's got her orange, and this is a new black outfit on. And Superman's oh, confronting yeah. her. And you got like super romance going on with Lana. Oh, my. Oh, come on, guys. I can't eat my hat. <laughs> oh, yes, you can. Another hat eating thing. Yeah, yeah. We probably got a few more around. Yeah. I'm not going to eat my hat. But yeah, we're heavy on the DC tonight, you guys. Well, I deal with the best stuff that comes in on a weekly basis. So all this, all almost all this is what's come in, uh, you know, in deals. So. Understood. Well, I know nobody's leaving because Mike's got another giveaway to, and, a, and a question that I actually have the answer oh, to yeah. already. So uh, oh, I'll be yeah. able to spot in the chat when we get to it. But, you know, there's their email addresses. Of course, anybody picked up any art, uh, you want to get in touch with these gentlemen to square up this evening. But yep. uh, we're, we're, we're some recaps, right in. folks. Oh yeah, that we've got a got a doozy of a recap. Aren't you in the mood now? <laughs> Here we go. All right, Mike. You want to see Anthony with hair? No, no. <laughs> what are you doing with that stuff? Are you gonna try to put it back on? Glue it back on? Yeah, well, Sharon might use it in a cake. Uh, I don't know. That was the plan. Oh, what really? You? I just made. Yeah, that they up. used people's hairs like that on Jackass once. So, uh, oh boy, but it was it wasn't the hair on top of somebody's head. No, Mike's well, got a giveaway, but I'm giving away extra art with every claim tonight, and on my website, uh, holiday special, extra art. Uh, you know, it's like seven B. Bill, I just had an offer on seven. Beers. I was just gonna. Have, that was your uh, the Joe Staten. You were at sixteen hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, that one already went. 15. No, that was the that uh, Jim Carrey. No, six B went, yeah. Mike. Six six B went, Mike. Oh no, Chris Bailey. Chris Daly bought no, the seven B went. Was it seven B? I maybe I got. Oh, I wrote it in the wrong 7B column. Went. Six B was I the apparel Phantom Stranger. I wrote it in the wrong column. That's on me. Sorry. Any other offers before we start? Anybody? Nope. Nope. Yep. So. Okay. Sorry about that. Me making my clerical mistakes. All hey. right. Now we can get a, get oh, things that's started. Perfect. Here we go. I want to speak to a manager. <laughs> All right, Mike. Here you go with your one A artwork. So hey, here we go. Let's see. Okay. Michael gave us True Blood three full splash page and published. I had four hundred. I'll I'll go three hundred bucks. I'm just trying to get these sold, folks, and signed and published. I love the color image to it. It's very very cool. He makes a very funny comment too on the on the published splash page. I feel bad that they do all these digitally now because I like I miss reading the words on them. Right around post ninety five ninety six was when they stopped. Uh, most companies stopped uh, doing actual glued on or drawn lettering, sadly. But anyway, uh, 300 bucks, folks. Full splash. Published True Blood. From the story, where were you? And sign. 300 bucks. All right. $300 on Mike's round 1A Gatos splash. Next up, Paulo Sequeira. Oh, Paul Sakira. Um, God, it's a semi splash page. It's awesome. I'll do uh, 400 bucks. Uh, beautiful. Check out the published image, too. Beautiful images of Black Canary and the Huntress beating up a bunch of guys. And then sexy images of them at the bottom with all the guys all beat up. Great, great, great page by Paulo Sakira. Matter of fact, Bill, what I say, I'll, I'll, actually, I'll do 375 on this one. 375. 
Beautiful semi splash. Fishnet Huntress in black canary. 375. 375 for Mike's 1B artwork. Now we got the next one up. That one is, is the uh, Koi Fam, where they move uh, the, the one Koi panel fam, around. Three, one, three, Nick's off in three, three, seven, Nick, I'll tell you what, Nick, if just for the keep things going, if you could do three and a quarter, I'll do three and a quarter on the one B. Three and a quarter. Um, on the two A, beautiful Koi Fam with everybody on it. Semi splash, which I have 450 on it. I'll do 400. Uh, really, really nice. Iron Man, Spider Man, Captain America, Miss Marvel, Wolverine, and others. And Hercules telling everybody that the Chaos King is coming. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, Nick, three and a quarter. Thanks, buddy, for that one. Thank you very much, Nick. And uh, what was your best price on this one, Mike? By uh, I said 400. You know what? I'll do 375. I'll be the lowest. I'll go on this one. Has everybody on it Miss Marvel, Captain America, Spider Man, Iron Man. And the Chaos King, big shot of Iron Man, Hercules, everybody. I'll do 375. And it is penciled and inked, and it's gorgeous looking. All right, 375, 375. on your 2A. Next up, 2B, where uh, the bricks are getting broken. Or not 2B. I had 450 on this. I'll go 400 bucks. Four panels of all out battle. And the great Ron Friends, inked by the great Sal Basema. Are you kidding me? From the story, When the Abyss Looks Back, with, with Spider-Girl battling Dr. Jade and smashing her to the ground. And look at them bricks. Are you kidding me? Ron Friends, Sal Basema, folks. Great, great page. Great battle. What did I say on that, Bill? You said 400, Mike. You said 400. Yeah. Tonight only, I'll do 375. 375. All right, 375 on your 2B. Friends, friends Inc. by John, Friends, Inc. by Sal Buscema, and it's from 2003. This is almost 20 years old. Wow. All right, next up, 3A by Butch Guys. Butch Guys, I love this one. This is like a, like I said, this reminds me, this is like a crisis type of page. I had 800 on it. I'll go 700 on it. But, I mean, just like every page, every panel, there's 10 panels, every panel is a DC superhero on it with the Earth in disaster situations with the Earth. Just a great, great, great page. From 1999, 21 years old, Butch Guys Inc. by Kevin Conrad from the story titled The End. Got Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Nightwing, Robin, Flash, Steel, Green Lantern, Plastic Man, Martian Manhunter. You got everybody as the Earth is going through major disasters. Wow. All right, so uh, you did get an offer uh, by Comic Car Boston on something, but your seven hundred is where you're sticking on this one. Uh, seven hundred. I'll tell you what. Uh, I'll tell you what. I'll go six fifty on it. Six fifty. Boston, you get first dib. Six fifty. I'll do it. I mean, that's a great page. All right, so that was uh, Comic Car Boston was offering you six on this one, and you're willing to go to six fifty. I'll that. go for. I said seven. I'll go six fifty. Okay. Or I'll right. package it with another page to, to do a well, better Well, thank you deal. for the offer, Comic Art Boston. I think uh, oh, OK said means. Okay, so. Yep. So. I believe that's the sale. Thank you, Comic Art Boston. Cab. I like cab. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, thanks. All right. So three A sets uh, sold at 650. We got three B next. That was the Gonzalo Mayo. Um, I will go, um, just to cut to the chase, I'll go 700 bucks, 700 bucks. Beautiful Catwoman, painted by the great Gonzalo Mayo edge to edge on nine by 12 inch thicker artboard and signed at the bottom. Beautiful, beautiful piece by the great Gonzalo Mayo, 700. Um, Bill, seven hundred. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Just to keep things going uh, with the other ones, I'll go six fifty. Six fifty. Or we could package them together with some of the other ones that didn't sell. All right. So six fifty for your three B. Six fifty. Yep. Yeah. Or make offers, folks. I'll. 
I'll always listen. Never hurts to ask, right? Oh, Kubert. The great Joe Kubert. Page. Pencil and Inks Kubert from 1971. World War II. Uh, I had 900 on it. I'll go 800 bucks. Really nice. From the great GI uh, that is uh, captured by the Japanese and tortured because he's a code breaker. 1971 from the story titled Blood is the Code. But again, we're 51 years old by the iconic joke. Pencils and inks. 800 bucks. 800 bucks. All right, so Joseph. 800 on the Q-Bird. I think Mike's internet's... Mike, your internet is a little stuttery tonight, okay. my friend. Yes, it is. Really? Yes. I yeah, said, you're, what did I you're say all, on this, Bill? Well, you said 800. Um, you did just get an offer from Peter Rowe on, uh, yeah. you know, at 700. But yes, your, your internet is hey, very Peter, choppy. we can meet in the middle at 750 at yours. Really? You want me to get out and come back in, maybe? No, no, it's it's it, we're we're managing, we're managing. So so all right, but so Peter, Peter seven fifty is yours. You've counted at seven fifty. Thank you for the offer, Peter. All okay. right, so what do we got next? Uh, oh, Peter four said B's, done. But, oh, very nice. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Peter. Now, next is the Scott Collins Excalibur the DPS. DPS, the awesome Excalibur DPS. I had a six, uh, one thousand on it. I'll, well, I'll go nine. I'll go nine hundred on it. Again, all art, everything is art here, folks. The whole double spread is art. Again, even on, even on, over here, they drew the machinery and then they just reversed it. But uh, but you got all the heroes at the bottom from nineteen ninety two, folks. This is thirty years old. Uh, great, great double spread, and you and you also have, like I said, Captain America, Captain Britain, Black Panther, War Machine, and, and the Evil Icon, which is that crazy dude with the mask on. But uh, what I say on that, Bill? You said nine hundred, Mike. I will go eight fifty on this. Eight fifty for the DPS Excalibur DPS. Eight fifty. All right, so eight fifty and your four B artwork, and it's Next. signed by the artist at the bottom. Next up, we've got the Alfonso Espiri Vampirella painting. Uh, let's see. I, uh, you know what? I'll cut to the chase. I'll do 1150 on this one. This is one of my favorites. Oh, look at Vampy and all her glory. And I love those little ghouls at the bottom on this painting. 1150. Uh, really, really nice. Uh, 8.8 .8 by 12.1 inches. Uh, then also mounted onto like almost like a matting, a 9.8 by 2.8 dartboard. Beautiful painted Aspiri Vampirella. And she has a cool bat on her right arm. Check that out. Yeah, check that out, folks. Check that out. Mm -hmm. All right, Mike. I mean, uh, oh, sorry. I was looking for the bat. I'm sorry. 1150. Yeah, you Correct? know what? I'll do 1100. I'll do 1100. Keep things All going, right. folks. And we combine. I'll combine with other pieces. We can combine them. Yes, we can. So next up, your 5B. Don Heck, Don Pearl, and the pair of oh, Dons. Beautiful page. Almost 50 years old. I had 1250 on it. Uh, I will do uh, 1100 on it. I'll go 1100 bucks. Beautiful page. Almost 50 years old from the story, Voyage into Chaos. Love that top spread there with him with his cape on it and everything. And then Subby there with the other captains where they get ready to go to this other undersea world uh, to meet that crazy girl that turns into the monster in the end of the story. But really, really nice. Uh, 1150. Matter of fact, Bill, what I say on that? You said 1150. I'll do 1100 bucks on that one. Almost 50 years old. Are you kidding me? We would never kid you, Mike. All right. So $1,100 for Mike's 5A and 5B. 1100 bucks. Yep. Or, or I listen, or I'll package them together for two grand for the pair. 
So there you go. All right, so 200, 2,000 for the pair for those interested. Or 1,100 in each, yep. Bad hack. All right, next up, you're 6A. You were at $1,700 on this. Very uh, cool, published, cover. cover. This, this is an image cover. I will go 1500 bucks on this. Really, really nice. By uh, Sia Um is how her name is pronounced. Beautiful image comments cover. And this is oversized. I'm done on 12 by 18 inch artboard. With the character dynamic image of Frontier, also known as Nina X. Nina Next, I'm sorry. But beautiful. 1500 bucks. Beautiful image. Painted cover. Trying to get the detail. Look at the detail on that. That's really a great piece. Look at that. 1500 bucks. All right. 1500 for the Commanders in Crisis cover. That was your 6A. And, or from uh, the right, I'll tell you, from the right person, I'll go 1450. 1450. Okay. 1450 it is, Mike, on your 6A. Yep. Now we've got that Apero Phantom Stranger. Ah, boy, oh, boy. Pencil and inks. Phantom Stranger. Bizarre. Apero Phantom Stranger is such hard to find. I mean, I was going to go 1600 bucks on it. With the first appearance of the villain, Tanarak, as he abducts this sexy girl in four out of the five panels. Then we got Phantom Stranger and Irene trying to solve the case at the bottom. I love that. And he actually used cross hatching on his body there in the bottom left panel, too. Very, very cool. 52 year old page. Are you kidding me? Bill, what did I say on this? You said 1600, Mike. You know what? Just for tonight, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do 1500 before the end of the show. 1500 on that. Oh, is mm -hmm. it? I thought that was a fan of Stranger out of costume. Shows how much I know. That's not him. That's Dr. 13. I thought that was Fam Stranger out of cousin. But if that is, that's Dr. 13 and Irene then. I never read a Phantom Stranger comic, I have to confess. I'm sorry about that. Uh, I had never but read Pat Sonic's Apero, 52 years old. And uh I'm going uh like I said, I'll go for uh fifteen hundred uh uh fifteen hundred on it. All right, fifteen hundred on your six A or six B, yeah. I'm sorry. Next up seven A. Uh, John Ramita, the preliminary cover to the Ramita Legacy Book, all pencils. Uh, we got four full characters and five full characters and four half, two half characters, LOL. Uh, I will go 1400 on this. What the heck? Look at that. If you cut out the Wolverine alone, would go for 500 Then you get Spidey. Then you get full Thor, a nice full Iron Man, a nice full Daredevil. Then you get a Hulk from the waist down. And you get a Punisher arm, and you get a silhouette of Captain America there on the bottom left. But anyway, that's why it's a preliminary cover. He was setting it, setting it all. John, the great John Romita was setting it all up, and signed by John at the top too. So uh, I said, "Yeah, I'll do fourteen hundred bucks on it." Very, very cool. By the great John Romita Senior, folks. You get the Punisher's arm in there too with a gun. The Punisher arm and his gun. Think about it, Ramita created the Punisher and Wolverine. And he drew Daredevil was his first Marvel hero he had a regular title on. So get all that cool stuff. All right. Uh, 7B did sell, so we'll go over to 8A now. That was the Tim Truman painted cover. The Tim Truman published cover. I had uh, 2200 on. I'll do a 900. Again, this is very large, all painted. This is 14.4 by 18.3 inches in sign of data. This is 32 years old. Beautiful. Published. Cover. Wow. Matter of fact, I'll go 1,800, Bill. I'll go 1,800 on it. What the heck? All right. 1,800. Oh, Marcus, I'll tell you what, Marcus, if you could go 1,600, just to keep things going, I'll do 1,600, Marcus. And I think I'm holding another piece of art for you. I can just hold this with it. Not a problem. So I'll do just for, to keep things going. I'll do sixteen hundred. All right. Well, thank you for the offer, Marcus, at fifteen hundred, and uh, let, let us know on the sixteen hundred. Yeah, let me know on that. Oh. Uh, Marcus has said to, uh, time payments on the sixteen hundred. Well, we're already doing it. Uh, yeah, if it's like three months or so. So yeah, that's fine. We'll do the sixteen hundred. All right. Fantastic. Thank you, Marcus. Yep. Thanks, Marcus. I love to. Hold one other stuff. piece. I can just add, add that to it. Not a problem. 
Okay, next up, 8B, the Frank Robinson Man, Raiders page. I love this one. To me, this is the best battle page in the book. Oh, uh, I'll go to 2100 because I know it'll sell on the site when I put it up. But uh, 2100 I'll do for our faithful fans. Awesome. Captain America, Submariner, and Torch all up battle, including uh, uh, Franklin Delano Roosevelt there because it's battling. They're battling Submariner World War II when Subby is still sort of a bad guy at times. So beautiful page. Frank Robbins, 1975 from just the third issue of the Invaders. Are you kidding me? 1975. And you even get a splurge when the Human Torch hits the ground after Submariner knocks him with some water. All right, Mike. What I say on that, Bill? You said 2,100? Yeah. I will do, Lowe's Dog, I'll do 2,000 before the end of the show. 2,000. First 2,000 gets it. Otherwise, it'll be a sight one, but I'd rather it go to some great people on our show. All right, $2,000. 2000 bucks like gets it. What the heck? Uh, the, the Marvel's Star Wars Hidden Years cover, I'll do, uh, I'll do 2250 Beautiful first issue published cover by the great Paolo Sequeira. From Star Wars, Hidden Empire featuring Lady Kira. Beautiful. And her face is actually drawn twice. It's all art, but they put an art paste over over top of another art with her face in a different image, believe it or not. But it's all art. So you actually get two, two head drawings for the price of one. That helps. <laughs> Incredible. Very, so, very cool. What I say on that, Bill? You know what? I didn't write it down. I hate to tell you that. You know what? I'll do because I want to keep things going. I'll do twenty one hundred. I had twenty five. I'll do twenty one hundred just to try to. That's keep a good price. Twenty one hundred. All right, so twenty one hundred for the nine A policy. And again, time payments are possible, and we combine shipping, folks. Uh, I love this one. Last page of the story with the whole team on it and everything. Uh, I will go 3,700. Uh, man, this is inked by Mike Royer, not D. Bruce Bray. Royer, to me, is his best inker um, uh, of the 70s. Great page. It's the de facto finalization page where the, they and they use a comic book to defeat the Nazis. They create this this fake uh, machine called the Devastator to kill this, this, this Nazi war machine called Ma Big Max. But again... 48 years old, Jack Kirby, Mike Ryer. Uh, matter of fact, I'll go, Bill, I'll go 3,600 on it. So, and you get the whole team of the, you get all the our fighting forces featuring the losers. You get the entire losers team on this one. Captain Storm, Gunner, Sarge, Johnny, Mc, Johnny Cloud, and Rodney Rumpkin, who comes all up right. with the, with the uh, Devastator. 3,600 on Mike's 9B. Two more to go. Probably. We got the 10A next. That's the Jim Apero Batman 447 splash. Yeah, Jeffrey Moore. I actually lowered that to 2,100, Jeff. I know you wrote 2,250. I actually lowered the Star Wars to 2,100 if somebody's interested. So, Okay. Uh, uh, the Batman splash by Jim Apero. Uh, I'll go uh, 5,750 on this. Really nice full splash. Batman, and as the demon is throwing a full body shot of Batman over the ledge at the United Nations building. Are you kidding me? From the story titled Earth Day Demon Night. The demon releasing Batman to his boom. what I say on that, Bill? You said 5750, Mike. You know what? For tonight, I will go 5,600. 5,600 just, uh, just to keep things going. Or we do we, we can package stuff together, folks. Let me know. That's right. And you do time payments. 5,600. So la last but not least, the Will Eisner. Ah, uh, uh, I will say, I want to, because I forget, there is a light little crease just right here. I noticed it on the piece. There's a little crease there. But, uh, oh, no, Bill, no. I blocked them. Um, I'll tell you what. I, I, I was going to say 13 5, uh, and I'll do time payments on it. Pencil Inks, the great Will Eisner. 
from 1985. Great published cover, full body shot of him. What the? Cha uh, <laughs> chain to, uh, I love it. Chained to his uh, luggage with 13 balls all smashed. Look, Spirit actually drawn on the lower right. And he's chained. And look at all those knives coming at him that he's dodging. But great published 11 by 17 cover, uh, 13.5. Ah, uh, the chat bots. 13.5 on that one, right, Mike? Yep, 13.5. Uh, you know what? I'll tell you what. Just because it's my last piece before Anthony starts, I will do I'll do time payments also. I will do 13,000. Otherwise, it's going to go back on the site for 15. So I'll do 13. Tonight only if somebody's real interested. That's great. And you get the signature. Oh, and you also get the original contract where it sold for seventeen hundred in two thousand one. You get the contract with an extra signature, a Will Eisner there at the bottom. So, all right. And there's the Will so, Eisner Studio. All right, Anthony, you ready to wheel? Yes, deal, I am sir? ready. Let's go. Attack! Right, folks, folks go. I will be in the chance. Folks, I will be in the chance to make offers there. I'm watching. All right. So we're going all the way up to your 1A, Anthony. And all right. We had the Sharona offers. flipping a coin. I'll and toss a coin. Yeah. She picked the dark-haired guy. Well, the coin did. And then she stuck with him for 30 years. <laughs> so we got the Sharona. I got this at 500 Oh, uh, 450 by, uh, this is 1960. This is from a 12 cent comic book, large art from a book that's of the Atlas nature. So, okay. It's so cool. I like this I a, like lot. It a lot. Yeah, I like it a lot. Let's nice. go. So your lowest price is 450 on that? Yeah. I'm not going to try that hard to sell you. You know, you flipping a coin for me. <laughs> the toast right, did sell uh, that one the, sold. Uh, toast sold to Alberto, so yep. we can move on. Okay, now we have the Butler round. The oh. Butler round. So the little golden book uh, art of Spidey Man dropping in. Uh, it's a double page spread. Uh, so page sixteen and seventeen. Let's do let's do four hundred for this. Let's get some uh, let's get some sales nice. going. Four hundred. Yep, four hundred. Stephen Butler published uh, like a golden. Golden book style, all right. Or you can get the pair. Let's. Uh, what are we gonna do on the pair, Sharon? Mm. Oh, wow! So you get uh, a kind of you know a children's child friendly one and a not so child friendly one. All right. Uh, we could do four hundred on this one too. The eleven by seventeen Spidey Commission. Look at that. That's worth every penny. Nice. Every penny. And this was done in uh, 08. And the book was, uh, I don't know, when was the book? Okay, so uh, we do uh, 800 on the on the combo. Combo? Oh, combo deal. Combo? All right, so 400 each on those, or uh, let's say, wow, let's do uh, 750 on a combo deal, 750. Wow. All right, so 400 each for your 2A, 2B, or 750 for the pair. That's yeah, if you want deal. a Spidey Man fix, <laughs> Spidey Man, you want to flip, flip, woo, woo, flip, flip, woo, woo. <laughs> You're so cute. Uh, a new catchphrase is born. <laughs> All right, so like I said, four hundred each or seven fifty for the pair. Yep. Now, and the next up, we've got uh, a Rudy Nebras in your three. Yeah, we got the Rudy Nebras round. Look at that. We got the knight with his uh, gravity assisted babe. And, or we have the, the Hannah looking girl, Hannah Dundee looking girl in this forest. Now, this is from the 70s, guys, or maybe very early 80s, but definitely published in a Warren magazine. Uh, and it's uh, above large art. I mean, uh, you know, a little bit of large art. And look at the detail. Yeah, yeah, he's incredible. a master. I heard Neil Adams say once that Rudy was his favorite artist. Yeah. So, uh, oh, what did we get? Did we get oh, any? Uh, you didn't. You didn't really say. Anything, okay, actually. I'm sorry. Uh, well, let's. I can do eight hundred on the big one. Eight hundred, and then uh, this on this great commission. Yeah, I'll do eight hundred on either one of these. Nice. Or fifteen for the pair. Let's do that. Wow. 
See? Now Can that's using you? your brain. That's using your brain. Now that's thinking. What's that from, Bill? Uh, well, Jeff Moy says claim Anthony 1500 for the Nebris pair with time payments. Time payments? Did I say 15 or 16? You said 15 for the pair. You said 800. Oh, okay, Jeff. Let's do it. Thank you very much. Yay. So I'll send you an invoice that you can uh, do 500 tonight and then 500, 500. Okay. We'll do that. Awesome. You got the woo page. Congrats to Jeffrey for picking that up. And uh, Kevin, thank you for making that offer. But uh, they were claimed by Jeffrey. All right. So 4A yeah, and 4B okay. did sell to 4 b yeah. Comics. So we've got 5A up here next. Thank you so much. Oh, the unicorn page. This and is awesome. remember, uh, I'm putting in uh, free artworks on a holiday special with every claim and order. Yeah. So, oh, uh, this one. Uh, guys, you got to know what you're, you're looking at here. This is so hard to find, and it's a great page. <sighs> great page of Iron Jaw. Amazing story. Edited telling. by super successful writer Jeff Rovin at, uh, at that time. He's gone, gone on to become, oh, my God, one of the most prolific writers in America. Ooh, huge. All right. So we got the iron jaw and we, we got. The mm, thing we don't got is a price, Anthony. I know. Ah, I was uh, uh, too expounding on the platitudes of this page. All right. 1750. 1750. Want to do 1750? That's great. 1750 for Anthony's 5A Pablo Marcos yeah. Iron Drop page. Yeah, if you're old enough to have bought these, you know, it was like kind of in the 20 cent era. All right, I had them. So, all right, so now we have the Eric Powell Goon action page. The ghoul. Yeah, look Goom. at that hand. The hand on the face. Hand on the face. Yes. All right, a quick sale on this would be like twelve fifty. I mean, that's that was pretty much cost on this for me, twelve fifty. Twelve fifty. Yeah. So a nice goon action page with uh, you know him fighting a monster. What more? Could you know, what more? What more could you want? All right. That All is right. nice. That's the uh, goon. What did I say? Hands on that one. So twelve fifty. What did I say on Bill? What did I say on that one, Bill? Seventeen fifty. Yeah, is it best yeah. price. Well, is it twelve uh, yeah. fifty? Yeah, I know seventeen fifty on the one before that. Seventeen fifty. Right. That's what you'd said. Seventeen fifty. Yeah. All right, moving right along. Oh my gosh, Mark Schultz. Mark Schultz, Hannah Dundee from his his uh, uh, what do you call it, Bill? His um, Zenozoic Tales. Yeah, Zen you know, but that's his uh, that's his uh, landmark uh, personal big uh, title. Xenotonic, Xenotonic Tales, Xenotonic, Xenozoic, Xenozoic, Xenozoic. Xenozoic. Yeah, there's many many pronunciations you can go with there. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> Hannah Dundee, full full on country I'll do 1500 on her. That's it. 1500. Look at that face. Look at that face. So hot. Yeah. I love a girl in boots. Cadillacs and dinosaurs. Thank you, Drake. Like a, All right. So yeah. you were 1500 on the Schultz. And next up is your John Byrne. Whoosh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're right. It, she is from Cadillacs and dinosaurs. What are we saying? Xenotope tells all that. Anyway. Okay. I got this John Byrne. Yeah. I got this She Devil with the Sword. Uh, and it's from 1976. I'll do I'll do 1750, guys. 1750. Go. It's a nice one. That. Go. There it goes. Now somebody else. That was uh Paul claiming Mike's 5B at 1000. He had just dropped that price in the chat. And Paul picked it up. Thank you, Paul Mallon, for that five B at one thousand. All right, who? Anybody on the on the two girls? We got yeah, to have a clock on that one. But yeah, so uh, so you're at fifteen hundred on the Schultz and seventeen fifty on the John Byrne. All right, let me know with interest. Okay, next up is your seven A. Hannah's fifteen. 
That's it. And then uh, Red Sonia will do. You said 1750, but. All right, 1650. Okay, 1650 on the John Byrne. Yep, 1650. All right, now we got bricks. Sell it, Sharon. Wow, how many bricks are there, Anthony? Are One, there a lot of bricks? One, two, three, four. There's go. a lot of bricks. A lot bricks. of bricks. Wax awesome. Wax bricks. Awesome. Stop firing. All right, this, this is all awesome. Jim Apparel art from 77. Prime time, Jim Paul. Brave uh, the bold. I'll do, look. Mm. You got to get those prices out early. Fast, fast. I need, I need uh, yeah. Let's do twenty five hundred on this one. Woohoo! Twenty five hundred dollars. All right, twenty five hundred dollars for the uh, Apero seven A. So now we've got a pair of pages in your seven B. The Tusca Billy Graham Hero for Hire pages twenty four and twenty five. You were at three thousand dollars for those. This is incredible. Yeah, these so these words. two action pages, I'll action. do 2500 on these two as well. And uh, you guys, this is a, a real, I mean, it's Billy Graham art. Tusca and Graham doesn't get better. than This is the way Luke Cage is supposed to look with a hand in his face. And then, you know, that is the origins of Luke Cage. And... Yay! Two of them. Let's go. Who's interested in that apparel? Everybody. Twenty three hundred. So you're on twenty three hundred on the pair. No, the, on the on the apparel. Uh, oh, oh, you're dropping the apparel. On the apparel. You're, mix, you're mixing things around, Anthony. What All right. Last on these ones, twenty. Twenty five hundred. Twenty five. Yeah. Twenty five. Yep. Twenty five. So you're twenty three hundred on the apparel. Twenty five hundred on the pair of. Uh, Pages from Hero for Hire. Okay. Number eight. Number eight, guys. Come on. That's from uh what? Okay, so now we have the oh, I was getting my cake ready. I didn't get to see this one close up. Yeah, wow. we got the Pablo Marcos, Conan with Sea Serpent, mixed media painting, all in color. And for a lot of dimes, I'll you know what? I'll do 25 on these one on this one too. 25. <laughs> Just cut into the chase. Chase. That's good, Anthony. Keep it up. 25 hun. <laughs> 25 hun. That's gorgeous. Very beautiful and great condition. It definitely is. It definitely is. So you're at twenty five hundred dollars on that one, Anthony. Yep, twenty five hundred. Now we got. Uh, I mean, that's a really beautiful wall capable color piece painting. It is. Uh, I agree. You know, it's, it's pencils, inks, acrylics. You can feel the it paint. Feels good. Yeah, it, it feels. Uh, it feels great. So that's really nice. That would look great in like a gilded frame. Yeah. All right. right. Speaking of golden gilded, look at this. A Ron Friends, Bill Sienkiewicz, what if page. And uh, you know what? I'll do 25 on this. 25. Look at that. That's Ron awesome. Friends. If this be the golden era. Nice. So Scott Thor in his golden battle armor and his uh and a lot of other characters. Looks like is that Odin behind him? Maybe. I don't know. Looks like him. And uh, over here. And that's Hogan the Grim, right? Right there. All right, twenty-five hun, as Anthony likes to say it, hun. Twenty-five hun. Yep. This All is right. this is the good stuff, guys. Get it while you can. All right, so 7B through 8B are all at 25 hun right now. Next up, Remember, we got four, four more to look at. All right. Whoa. Look at this. Now we got a John Bissema, Tony Dzungia Gaga. <laughs> and we got a lot of, uh, oh, by Odin what, Sharon? Huh? By Odin who? By Odin what? I can't see. By Odin, no. Oh, no. no. Oh. Ah. All right, so I'll do thirty-two on on the Odin page, on the Thor page, thirty-two. 
All righty, so you are at $3,200 on the 9A Busema Thor 256 page. All right, and uh, what do we got? Next up is the 9B Busema. All right, guys, these are my best prices. I'll do $7,500 on this, this classic Conan early super page. Wow, $75 Busema. Marcos and Neil Adams in in the credits on it on the uh that's great so and it's a half splash with lots of maggots and that uh crucifixion X that uh we can uh you know that they used in the movie so that's pretty cool that is cool so 75 hun All right. And uh, so $7,500 for this one. And I did want production to know that Mike just accepted an offer of $1,100 on his 6A artwork as well. The uh, buyer on that one was the product. Did they confirm it, Bill? Yeah, they said, yeah, right here. That's cool. Just hold it with the other two pieces was the. Uh, oh, I didn't see it. Okay, thanks. Yep. Yep. So there you have that one. Thank you, the prodigal paradox. All right. So back to you, Anthony. You were at seventy five hundred on the one that's on the screen. Very nice page yep. indeed. Uh, I sold the page from four for fifty five. So a half splash from from uh, four that has the Neil Adams credit. I gotta. I gotta like. Yeah, that's about right. I could do seven ish. Seven ish. All right. Seven ish. <laughs> <laughs> we can go with that. All right. So we got two more to look at here. Your 10A and 10B. First up, of course, 10A. Right. And uh, that is another Jim Apero masterpiece. Yeah. Ta da! That's a, wow. a 10 woo woo. Yeah. Woo times 10. Times a million. This is amazing. Yeah. So what are you thinking on this one, Anthony? Yeah. This one's tough. Uh, I mean, you know, I paid a lot for it. Even that dedication is worth something to me. That paper chase, and supposedly yeah. this was written by a big, uh, an, an author that went on to be very successful in publishing. So, uh, nine, nine thousand, nine all righty, nine thousand it is on your 10A artwork. One That's more to all go. Jim Apparel. Wow. Beautiful. All right. Now we got your 10B. This, this, this is from a borderline 12 cent comic book. I think it's, I think DC is already 15 cents at 1970. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, 15 cent, 15 cent, you know, splash by Herb Novick. And it's great. Yeah. Is Lois Lane guilty? Yeah. She's in her orange is a new black and Superman. <laughs> Confronting her about killing Lana, and Lana and Clark or Superman are dating, so it's kind of like a romance splash, but it's got yeah. Superman and Lois Lane, and uh, I'll do 11. I'll do 11, but we got to get some more traction out there in the offers, guys. Yeah. Well, you got an oh, offer from uh, Paul. Yeah. Let's see. That was on your 9A. You were at $3,200 on it, and uh, that was for the John Buscema Thor page. He's okay, I can, I can get that done, three. Paul. Let's get that done, Paul. Thank you very much. Three. We'll All right. Three Congrats to uh, Paul Mel Mellon on that one. Very yeah. nice pickup. Just send me your email, and I'll send you a PayPal invoice tonight. Get that taken care of tonight. So, that's uh, that's the story, and we're sticking with it. All right. And I think, uh, so I was looking through the chat. I saw, um, let's see, Nick asked Mike to show a piece that he had. Oh, that was the Friends uh, 2B. Where was that? Uh, scroll oh, down. they make offer? He, I said uh, I'd go 350 on that one. Right. And he wanted just to uh, take a, a reminder look at it. So uh, that was your 2B. Ron Franz Inc. by Sal Basema. Great page. Yep, that was a nice one oh. there. So you were at 350 on that one. I lowered it to 350 in the chats just to keep things rolling. <laughs> oh, happy oh. days, folks. 
All right, any more action, any more offers, any more interest? Remember? Well, as you can see, the, the score is very close. But, you know, I did have to highlight a milestone because uh, midway through, I think, well, probably through Mike's round, I believe, was when uh, when we hit it. So let's see, where was that? Oh, here it is. Hey, you both combined for $3 million in sales. Uh -oh. right, that's cool. Did Anthony, did you sell your... Your story is somebody saying it's not by, I don't know if you read Drake, just a curiosity. No, oh, well, we looked it up five times. Well, there's sometimes, I get confused too. Sometimes there's multiple stories in books too, you know, so it's easy to make an honest mistake. Well, on either side, right? But uh, but there you go, $3 million. Come on, yeah. Yeah. Give us three woots. Three woots. Like yeah, there you go. West said a great. Any more last deals, folks? Excalibur double spread splash. The Eisner cover. Any exactly. of these? Last wheel and deals. Last wheel and deals. Only uh, what? 175 separate you guys. But uh, but yes, Fury. A good show. Very good show. Lots All of right. great art. All right, I'll look this up and uh, get. Yeah, uh, yeah it, is, it does say page 64, so there might have been another story in there. Yeah, so all that right, works. so that's a big one. How about the Thor? Nick's offering Mike three three hundred for the uh, that okay, friends. Right. What was my price? What was your best price on the Kirby Losers? Hey Frank, what was my lowest price on the Losers page, Frank? Uh, you were at, you were thirty six hundred on the on the Kirby Losers. Uh, I can knock off another two hundred for you, Frank. I'll do thirty four hundred and give you a time payments on it. So thirty four hundred. What was my lowest number on the Ramita, Bill? Uh, the Ramita, you were at 1400. I will yes. go 1300 on the Ramita. All right, and, and, and Nick and Nick did offer you 300 for the friends. So I, I lost, I was at his three and 50. Uh, uh, how about we do three and a quarter, Nick? Uh, I know I said the lowest I'd go is 350 on it, I'll do three and a quarter on it. Yay, three Ron, million. Ron, Ron how about Bray, a barrel Batman bread? All right. How is this still here? I'm not the seeing any new, any, any new uh, offers coming in. So, you know what? We can call it. Where's that video? You know what? Oh, I'll do 2000 on the it. Batman apparel. 2000 But here we go. Batman needs to take a break and put on his Bat Cologne. That's right, folks. Bat Cologne is what every superhero needs after a hard-fraught battle with Anthony Snyder on Dueling Dealers of Comic Art. Because this smells... Oh, I made myself in the mouth accidentally, folks. But that still smells batterific, folks. Batterific. Woof, woof. Come on, Billigan. Get down here and get my cape so we can go out and celebrate. I got an offer on the apparel. Oh. You were twenty three hundred dollars originally, three thousand on that one. Yeah, and, uh, I can't do fifteen now, so it's probably yeah, not. Gonna, it. I'll do eighteen, eighteen hundred giant size. But yeah. uh, but there you have it, everybody. And then I'll do look. I'll do fifteen on the red Sonia. Fifteen on the red Sonia. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. If, uh, How about a quick thousand? Make on any that. claims after the show? Let me know. <laughs> You got an offer of eighteen hundred on those hero for hires, but yeah, those were the right. Yeah, that was the pair that you were at. Uh, I'll gosh, do a quick thousand on the uh, the twenty five hundred after you lowered it. Uh, and yeah, we got Robert. Don't worry, we we did catch the three twenty five on the friends. Thank you very much for. Uh, and I'm lowering this to thirteen hundred oh, on the. Oh, we apparel. got the trivia, Mike. We got to do the yeah. trivia. Come on, quick, no re recap. Yeah, trivia question Nick. right now, right now. We got the answer here. Nick, I'll Nick, I'll do twelve hundred on the Ramita. Nick, twelve hundred on the Ramita. I lowered it. I said fourteen. I'll do twelve hundred just for you. Okay, our trivia. You ready for our trivia? Yes. The trivia piece tonight is a beautiful uh, signed portfolio played by uh, Pablo uh, by. Uh, Ernesto Redondo for uh, Viking Warrior and Valkyries printed plate signed and numbered. So that's the piece. Okay, you ready? All if right. You, you can still answer, but if you've won already, uh, we have to wait days. till January if that's okay. Ready? Okay. When Stacy and Captain Stacy, they both first appeared in two Spidey issues. Add them up and give Bill your number right now. You have to add up. 
the issue that Gwen Stacy first appeared, add up the issue that Captain Stacy first appeared, and add those two together and send the bill. Or put it in the bill chat. That's, the that's, a, first that's a tough one, one though. Yet gets it. That is tough. I don't think anybody's going to be able to get that one. They're all Googling it right now. They're Googling it. Oh, Google. Well, it, there, well, there you, you go. Google. Google. There you go. Jeffrey C. 87. Yay. Captain Stacy first appeared in Spidey 56. Gwen appeared in Spidey 31. Add those together and you get 87. So Jeffrey C. Oh, congrats Good. to Jeffrey C. We always Yay. love it when Pikachu. 1,000 on the, on the goon. Oh, look at that. All right, everybody. All right, everybody. Fantastic Yay. show. Last chance, twelve hundred bucks. I'm letting this go. Just I told the worst one for fifteen hundred, but uh, but hey, oh, Bill, tell everybody I won't be on the show next week. That's right. I was just gonna say Mike is on vacation next week down in Orlando. I'll be seeing him. I'm on treating Saturday. the whole family to a condo in Orlando and Universal Studios next week. So I'm gonna meet Bill next Saturday. That's true. So Anthony will be doing his own uh, his own thing with me. We haven't really decided what it'll be, but it'll be some kind of show, probably more more of a, a claim yeah, show. Yeah, we need to do a drop one night too, Bill. So, and just so you know, Nick did say one K for the Ramita, and uh, Anthony did get one final offer from uh, Mark on that ni- nineteen hundred for the Hero for Higher pages that uh, you had as well. Anthony. I can do twenty two fifty on the hero for hires. Twenty two fifty. That's All right. coming down a lot. All right, everybody. And twenty. Thanks, and I'll see you in two weeks. There you go. Oh, yeah, doing night. solo. Have All right, night. and uh, we'll be back on the twenty first. Right, the twenty first. We'll be back. And for episode ninety eight. I'll do fifteen on the John Byrne. We'll be on the thirteenth. Right? We'll we'll the... I'm sorry, on the thirteenth, the fourteenth, fourteenth. We'll have a show, right? Right. Giant sides. Right. What are you gonna do? It's no, the fourth all right. Nice. Show. Oh, you know you're all right, buy it. Everybody. Thanks, everybody. Have a great night. <laughs>